Thank you, Mother, Father, God. Thank you, Archangels and Ascended Masters for the perfect guidance, perfect clarity, and perfect peace that is here for each of us right now. Thank you to the angelic realm, the elemental realm, our ancestors, spirit guides, animal guides, and guardian angels. We thank you for this opportunity for absolute peace and perfect joy right now. If we could breathe in and let Lady Portia just come right at you with great enthusiasm and her ability to help. If we could just breathe in. And if that had a sound, it'd be like, oh, ooh, ooh. Like, let's do good things. Let's just take in a breath and just let her come right to you. And let's let her instantly create balance. She's talking about hemispheres. So if we could let her instantly, perhaps just with a gaze and with her speaking her, your name, if we could let her balance the two sides of your brain, balance left and right, balance, she's saying rebalance your equilibrium, balance your experience with gravity on the planet. And if we could notice that gravity is working, uh, balancing your sense of grounding, your sense of uh, place and purpose on the planet, just letting all these things happen at once just from this goddess. And if we can notice her saying, you have your place. If we could breathe in and let's say that out loud, I have my place. And saying with a different energy, I have a place. And third energy, I have a place on the planet. Good, so if we could breathe into belonging Let's say out loud, I belong. Wonderful, we'll just breathe in. So let's notice Lady Portia being right with you and her balancing. And so she's once again talking about hemispheres. The Elizabethans in Shakespeare's time, they believed in the spheres of the body. She's referring to that. So all the different levels of the body. Let's notice the mental layer, the mental body being balanced and cleared. So what she's showing with that, with the sense of scale of balance, let's not let the heavy thoughts outweigh the light thoughts. Let's let there be a balance. And perhaps that means we unload a whole lot of heavy thoughts like worry, like fear, like self-criticism, like doubt. And if we could let them go like old vegetables without question, you don't question the moldy potato. So let's notice the moldy thoughts being tossed out. And a moldy thought might sound like, how come I can't ever, let's just breathe in and just let those go. Why doesn't so-and-so, let's let that go. Let's very simply just feel perhaps with a breeze, perhaps an upward breeze and lightness. Let's notice those light thoughts feeling good. Let's notice all that goodness, all that peace and all that love. being right here, right now. Wonderful. So we'll notice the sphere of mental thought, your mental body. Let's notice your emotional body, perhaps around your heart, having great balance. Let's notice your heart being uplifted, your heart being supported, and you participating in the well-being of your heart. And the energy around Lady Portia, it's like she's been waiting all day to connect with you. And here you are. So if we could just breathe into her enthusiasm to help you. And her loving care for you right now. So if we could just breathe into that and notice this emotional balancing. And if we could perhaps just let like... Um, a seesaw, let's very simply let any worry 
go to um, the bottom of the seesaw and let it slide off. And let's say out loud, I don't need to worry. I know that everything's gonna work out. Thank you angels for taking care of me and my loved ones. All of my needs are met. All of them. My needs are met and exceeded. All of my loved ones are safe and well and protected. It's okay for things to go well for me. Wonderful. So we'll just breathe into all that. Wonderful. So if we can notice the next sphere, which is essentially being human, like life. If we could breathe in and notice your footprints on the planet. You're moving forward on the planet, your decision to be on the planet, all of which are strong decisions. Let's say out loud, I choose to live a good life. Thank you, Lady Portia, for helping my life be balanced. Thank you for my life being good. I allow good things to happen. So if we could just breathe in and feel Lady Portia at work. And in the most positive, exciting way, if we could just take a moment and perhaps right where you are, either through sound, through feeling, through knowing, through sight, your spiritual sight and through your body, noticing that the world is continuing and isn't that exciting. That the world is not the same as it was three minutes ago. And rather than feeling left behind, excluded, lost, let's notice you participating fully in your own life being right on time and feeling all the good, all the blessings, all the greatness that's here right now. Like surfing with life, not on life, not behind life, that you are right, you're right there moving forward with life, your life. And so just breathe in and to feel the positive progression that is here. Wonderful. We'll breathe in. Let's indeed just notice what it feels like to be engaged with real life. And perhaps notice how your spiritual world, all this muscle you developed over days and decades, helps. Let's notice the influence that your prayers, your intentions, the prayers held for you and by you have helped. And noticing and knowing that help is here right now and the power and potency of your words. If we could very simply just breathe in and let's say out loud, I allow my life to get better right now. I allow for things to fall into place for my highest good. I release the things that no longer serve me. I align myself with goodness. I welcome more love into my life. 
I am loved right now. I am loved right now. I am familiar with love. I accept love. My body understands love. I fully receive love. So if we can notice in this moment um, with a hint of humor, perhaps, let's notice love being like shampoo, so whatever that means to you. Let's very simply notice the cleanse, a cleansing of love your hair being cleansed with love, your body being cleansed with love, your viewpoints being cleansed with love. No more tears, shampoo. I'm just noticing good things being here right now. Wonderful. Let's breathe in and if we could place our attention on Lady Portia, whether you feel her, see her, hear her, know that she's there, let's notice her in her enthusiasm to connect with you in this moment right now. Let's notice her saying to you and about you, aha. Just breathe in. And the um, in the Elizabethan philosophy about spheres of, the, spheres of the body, the lowest level is like the stuff that scares us. Let's very simply notice a very distinct line in the sand. Let's notice the level that you're on, the foundation that you're on. Let's let that foundation that you're sitting on, standing on, that you're on right now, be like marble. And let's let's make an agreement with Lady Portia and her friend Archangel Michael and her friend Saint Germain, a bunch of folks coming forward. You stay right where you are. Let's just take under breath. Let's take two minutes and just breathe and relax and they're gonna go take care of the nasty stuff and conscious stuff. The stuff that's been layered into humanity to scare the crap out of you or distract you. Let's just take under breath. Let's notice that you are safe and you are well and you are loved. It's like if you were, um, if someone else were to go into the basement to clean up a mess, let's let them go into the basement, clean up a mess and you stay right where you are. So let's just breathe in. And we'll notice what it's like just to be present and to perhaps to um, breathe in a bit deeper than normal. And let's consciously have the intention of relaxing our physical bodies. And if that includes not thinking so much, let's let it include not thinking so much. If it helps to count breath, let's count 10 breaths.
Wonderful. Let's take in a breath. And with the freshness of them, like they've just stepped out of the shower, let's notice a pristine Lady Portia, a pristine Saint Germain, and a pristine Archangel Michael. They've not been doing battle. They don't do battle. They've been making order. So if we could just breathe in. And without the need to know what they just did, let's very simply say out loud to them, thank you. And if we could affirm one simple thing, that everyone we've ever seen, heard, read about, or known, anyone who, we, if we've seen, heard, read about, or have known who's no longer physical, let's let them fully transition off the planet and go to the light. Let's just take in a breath. And thank you, Archangel Michael. Thank you, Saint Germain. Thank you, Lady Portia, for escorting all the souls we've ever seen, read, or heard about, or known that in our family, friends, people we've heard about, classmates, people we've worked with who have transitioned, including ancestors in the past. We let them all transition fully off the planet right now. And we see them going to the light and being welcomed and celebrating this change. And with this change, we let our souls relax even more. We let the planet have even more harmony and we see even more help coming from the non-physical. And we celebrate this change right now. And we're so grateful for this moment of clarity and peace. And thank you, Lady Portia, for helping us in every single part of our lives. Thank you for our financial freedom. Thank you for clarity around the details of life, like jobs, like housing, like decisions. Thank you for helping all of us in every single aspect of our lives right now. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for protecting all of us right now. Thank you for our innate safety. Thank you for us having a sense of um, belonging and a sense of the angels preceding us in every single moment and to feel the advancement of prayer, the evolution of our intentions and the power of all of them. We acknowledge that we've witnessed miracles happening of protection in the, on the planet in this country in recent times. We celebrate that continuing and including any thwarting of any plot or plan to harm people, be that on a global level or personal level. And we see safety and goodness being here for us right now. And thank you, Saint Germain, for the promise of a wonderful sense of fulfillment and purpose. We see good things happening in every aspect of our lives, including any projects we're working on, our personal lives, the places that we live in, and the things that we hope for and dream for. We celebrate all this goodness right now at this moment. We celebrate any investment in creativity and artwork, any investment in our own evolution through reading, through being, through exercise. We acknowledge and we celebrate good things happening. And we allow anyone who is in pain to receive help. We allow anyone who needs help to receive help. We allow all of us to move forward with clarity, peace, and ease. And we're so grateful for this moment and for this time. And with great generosity, great peace, great love, and great joy, we quite simply and lovingly ask for this or something better right now in all directions of time. And so it is. Wonderful. We'll just breathe in. And to Lady Portia, who loves you, loves you, loves you, we'll say out loud to her, love you too. And to Archangel Michael, the hero, we could say out loud, thank you, Michael. And to Saint Germain with his style, his panache, and his sense of inclusion for every single part of you, including the dashing parts of you, the beautiful parts of you, the parts of you that recognize a sunset or smell a rose, or tend to a garden, or have beautiful things around you and create beautiful things, we'll say out loud, thank you, Saint Germain. And we simply and lovingly thank all these guides for their wonderful help and for all the transitions that have happened during this time. And we celebrate our bodies being fully, part fully participating in life right now. And there being wholeness and peace in mind, body, spirit, and emotions. And with simplicity and grace, we ask for this or something better right now in all directions of time. And so it is.